Hi, and welcome to How FBA Works, the Beginner's Guide here at FBA University. In today's session, we will be covering an overview on FBA, what it is, what it means, and how it works, the FBA program benefits, and the cost of using Amazon's FBA. So let's get right into it. An overview of FBA. So FBA, uh, as most of you know, stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. Uh, and it works with really four easy steps here. You ship your products to Amazon's Fulfillment Network, uh, one of their fulfillment centers. Um, and then Amazon then ships your products to your customers who buy the product on Amazon. So you don't have to ship them. Amazon handles also all the customer service from that sale, like uh, the Wismo or where is my order, um, basic product questions, um, stuff like that. So uh, Amazon will handle that from a customer service standpoint uh, via email and phone for you. Um, also, um, Amazon handles all the returns for the items that you're using for the FBA services. So if a customer has a return on an item, uh, Amazon automatically um, handles that for you and gets the product back into their fulfillment center. That's your basic overview. Again, this guide's for beginners. We have an advanced section for uh, the, the paid customers here. But uh, anyways, if you have any questions, uh, resources are on the top. So head over to fbauniversity.co or support uh, at fbauniversity.co. Shoot us an email there. Um, so what are the benefits of the program? Well, there's, there's a ton. Um, uh, we'll go over these five, and then we'll kind of explain each one here. So the first thing is you can reach new customers. Um, there's a lot of customers who specifically look for uh, prime items. They use the prime toggle switch um, that I like to call, um, and they only really look for items that can be delivered through prime. Um, and, helps sort out the thousands and thousands of sellers that might be in your category or just dozens of products that might be uh, competitors uh, and, and puts you one leg above them. Um, the second benefit is your products are now offered with either the two-day, one-day, or even same-day delivery. Uh, and by the way, you don't have to pay anything extra for that to happen. Uh, Amazon handles those costs. So um, your products are now available nationwide. Uh, for the two-day, one-day, and even same-day delivery. A third, which most people like, is it boosts sales. Uh, this is absolutely pr true. Uh, based on a case study with uh, SellingRocket.com, their average portfolio of customers sees a 30% increase in sales just by offering products uh, through the FBA services. Um, four, it frees up your time as a business owner, especially for, you know, the entrepreneur, uh, one or two person, you know, businesses, um, you start getting orders, um, and then you say, oh boy, how do I start shipping 20, 30, 40, 50 products a day or orders a day? Um, this, this get, can be a daunting task, but FBA helps you, uh, you know, free up your time as a business person instead of shipping and, uh, running the business and, and helps you build your business and that leads us directly into number five. It helps scale your business um, Some people have a you know home run product and will sell you know hundreds of them uh, a month or even a day uh, I have a, a customer uh, Story here that uh, uh, They were shipping, you know five to ten products a day um, You know in the middle of the year when they started in June when they um, got to the holidays time, uh, they were doing about 100 to 200 orders a day, and they did not have the, the manpower to do it. Uh, they were shipping literally all day and night, um, just keeping up with demand. So uh, the FBA program uh, helps definitely scale your business. Now let me preface that FBA isn't for everybody, and we'll cover that in the advanced training. Um, but uh, it, it definitely helps the majority of customers if your product is a nice fit for the program. So the cost of using FBA, that's usually the next question from everybody. There's three separate uh, categories of fees that I'll cover today, um, and that's uh, really the majority of the cost. There, there's a couple other 
um, costs here. Let's see a typo here. We'll go ahead and get that fixed. Um, and the advanced training we'll cover, but uh, from from a basic standpoint, again, this is the beginner's uh, version of this. Uh, the first thing is the fulfillment fees. Um, fulfillment fees are the order handling, the pick and pack, and the weight handling of the product. So let's say you sell a book. Um, Amazon charges a order handling fee for shipping that order, a pick and pack fee uh, per unit, um, and a weight handling per pound. So think of it as a you know, all-inclusive pick, pack, ship, uh, and uh, you know the, the full service there. And we'll show you how to look those up and calculate those fees. The the second one, and a lot of people don't take into consideration this fee, and that's is how a lot of FBA sellers lose money. Um, that's inventory storage fees. This is a fee that Amazon charges monthly based on the dimensional volume of your products. Basically, how much warehouse space are you pay, uh, taking up with your product? That's going to cover your inventory storage fees. There's also another one, uh, a long-term storage fee, and this is for products that sit in the, the warehouse uh, long-term or uh, after 90 days. Uh, it's just sitting there, excess inventory. You might have had a product that you thought was selling and, and uh, you know, a competitor came in and undercut you or whatever the case may be. Um, you want to be careful not to send all your inventory. Uh, it's v a very, very delicate situation there because you can get dinged with lots of fees and um, go from making money to losing money very quickly. The third set of uh, costs using FBA would be the optional services that Amazon offers. And we'll cover these in detail um, but uh, in, a, in a later segment. But the, the, they're broken into prep services. So um, do they need some kind of special prep? Um, inventory placement. And inventory placement is going to cover um, uh, shipping to multiple warehouses versus just one. We'll cover that in detail. And then removing and disposing of inventory. So uh, if you have a customer return, that's no good. If you want to uh, take those out of the warehouse and move them back to your facility, um, if you have product that is, uh, I don't know, let's say expired, if you're in the uh, supplements or food uh, side of items, um, Amazon will dispose of that inventory for you. That covers the, the majority of those pieces there. So um, let's take a live look at the FBA fees and, and where you can calculate them. The, the first step is if you have a seller central account already, um, you're going to want to head it over to your inventory, manage FBA inventory tab. You can see in this account we have uh, three books um, in, our, in our FBA uh, section, the inventory Amazon fulfills. Um, if you look over to the right, you'll see a fee, a fee preview. Um, it includes your referral costs and cost to sell in that category, but you'll notice that there's a separate FBA fee. So 476 FBA fee for this specific item, 476, 476. All these books cost $4.76 or $4.76 to use the FBA service. So make sure you take that into consideration when making your selling price um, and if FBA is a good fit for you. Um, the other way to look it up is by using uh, the FBA Revenue Calculator. Um, this is directly on um, Amazon's Seller Central uh, site. So you can Google um, FBA Calculator. Um, it should be the first link that pops up. You're going to go ahead and put in a uh, UPC, uh, ISBN, um, or equivalent in that box. Go ahead and click and then you'll see the product come up um, if you go straight down here don't worry about putting these in right now we'll cover the uh, uh, merchant fulfilled versus fba comparison in another segment but if you just click calculate you'll see right here this fulfillment by amazon fees this section here four dollars and eighty cents breaks down what the fulfillment fee would be which again is your um, your all-inclusive pick, pack, ship um, piece, and then your monthly storage. So they're saying it's about $4.80, including the monthly storage here, which uh, matches up to the 4.76 here. 
but this again, this is not going to show your monthly storage since it's a separate fee. So this is a great place to find your your fees. Um, you can also just search a product. Um, we'll just type in you know, Apple AirPods, and we'll show you um, a list of different items. You can select that. Um, go ahead and click calculate, and it would show you the fees for those as well. Um, so that's a, another way to to, to find the, uh, the the fees there. Um, now we we do um, do advanced FBA training when you enroll in our FBA University program. We cover a lot of other uh, topics in depth, such as inventory placement services, um, deciding merchant fulfilled versus FBA. Um, FBA direct from suppliers, having your supplier, if you're in the private label world, um, overseas shipping directly into an FBA warehouse, um, and save some costs there. Um, advanced reporting, how to find a lot of hidden gems that, uh, you know, Amazon just doesn't teach you and a bunch of FAQs. We have a, a forum section there. Um, and we also answer a lot of questions uh, and emails coming in from all of you um, on that side as well. So that covers our uh, How FBA Works, the beginning uh, or the beginner's guide. If you have any questions, you can head over to fbauniversity.co or drop us a line in the email support at fbauniversity.co. We'll leave some links uh, below on um, uh, some of the pieces that we talked about, specifically this FBA calculator link, so you can uh, start taking a look and, and go from there.